And as a matter of fact, my favorite Charlie track is um, Just Look and Flip It Fabulous. I really like that. That's my favorite. The producer uh, uh, emailed me and asked me if I was interested in uh, uh, coming on some tracks, which of course I was. And, uh, and then I volunteered my services to uh, mix it uh, because uh, you know, Charlie's you know, big influence on me you know, as a youngster. So I feel like, you know, I could play something like that. Well, it's funny how certain things stick in your mind. You know, I can't remember every place I played and everything I've done, but there are certain things that stick in your mind as time goes by. You know, for instance, like uh, the first time I landed in Britain, I went by ship. It took a week to get there on the Mauritania, an old Cunard line ship. You know? As a matter of fact, there was a troop ship during the Second World War, you know, 5,000 men, you know, big. That's, of course, a small compared to today's luxury line. You know? But it was a 38,000 ton ship, and I landed in Plymouth, uh, no, I, we landed in La Havre, France, the night before, and the next morning we, we landed in Southampton, which is like the port city, you know. And I had that day off, but the next day I did my first appearance. And uh, I wasn't scared, but I was a little nervous because, you know, I read about these places in the history book as a kid. You know, England, oh my God, the history, the history, you know. It's like it, nobody was greater than the Roman Empire except the English Empire. It was even greater. It's amazing. An island nation controlled half the world at one point. You know, and all these things are going through my head. I'm only a kid. I'm 20, 21 years old, you know. So I'm thrilled to death to get there. And the first band I ever played with was the Ted Heath Orchestra, who was considered the Stan Kenton of Europe. Great jazz, 15-piece band. Wow. I mean, I, I thought I died and went to heaven. Understand? As a matter of fact, I didn't even feel I was qualified to play with these guys. That's how good they were. I was only a kid. So i never forget Mr. Heath said to me, Mr. Charlie, he said, don't be nervous. Go out there. There's only seven notes of music. Just play the right note in the right tempo. as good as anybody else. But when I went out there, it was dynamite that night. I mean, I couldn't do anything wrong. It was a magic evening. So that sticks in my head. You know, a couple other things, too, like uh, the great Johnny Dankworth, great saxophonist, wife Cleo Lander, jazz artist. I worked with his band, I worked with Sid Phillips' band. These are all like the top-notch bands of Britain, you know, throughout Europe. I mean, it's wonderful. I met Count Basie there for the first time in my life, almost dropped dead. You know, Count Basie, holy smokes, you know. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. I mean, as I look over my life, and first of all, I'm still grateful to be around and still working at my age, but uh, it's been a great ride for me. I mean, uh, I never became the multimillionaire or the famous, uh, as famous as Elvis or as famous as uh, Paul McCartney, but that little niche that, that, that I carved out for myself in the musical world, it's, it's only a smidgen, but it's so tough to even get that in a lifetime. So I'm very grateful for it, you know. Plus, I've had a wonderful life with my wife and my children. I mean, uh, I'm a family guy. Uh, when we got done work at night, a lot of guys went out and party, and I went home to my wife and kids.